Hello fellow YouTubers and welcome back to Ree's Retro Toys. On today's episode, I'm heading back down to d and &E Collectibles just outside of Pittsburgh. Now I know, I've already done a couple videos on these guys, however, they always have an incredible inventory of vintage toys and even some modern toys that a lot of people are collecting. And I'm going to meet my buddy Chad down there, he's actually probably already there. And he's picked up some things for me too in Target and Walmart and stuff when he's out. So I'm going to pick that up as well. Uh, but I've just, I just need to get my vintage toy fix. And I am almost certain D&E will have something for me when I go in there. So let's see what I come back with. What's going on, buddy? What are we doing? How are you? <laughs> Wonderful. <laughs> How's the drive? Yeah. Yeah. Not bad. Yeah. Early Saturday. It's not too so bad. So what do you see? I know. I'm eyeing this cheap skate over here. Or not the cheap skate, but the turtle cycle. Someone bought the knucklehead. Damn. It's gone. Look at that. I know. Factory sealed turtle copter. You, you have this? I don't have the. I don't. I mean, I obviously, I have a complete yeah. wagon, but not, uh, not the box. It's pretty cool. Oh, I know. Look at this. I love the early artwork because uh, it's so much like dude, the comics. Dude, dude, it's all good. Do you have that? I, a double uh, barrel? Not, not the box. Okay. So if I buy any of these, it would be basically just to buy the box. Mm. I have the cheapskate. I have Mutate and Splinter. Well, I have the Turtle you Trooper. You could always just sell the toy. Yeah. Yeah, that's Dude, probably I, what I'd do. I couldn't, I couldn't tell you how many times I've done that. I really wanted that knucklehead. <laughs> <laughs> that was pretty cool. <laughs> Cause like I said, those are the early vehicles. Oh those yeah, 80, 88, 89 releases. Dude, I, I I don't see that cheapskate too. Mm -mm. Much. And that's a pretty good price for it with the box. Mm -hmm. Oh, someone bought the Death Star. Oh yeah. Yeah, got big sold. There, there's uh, some people bringing stuff in. Oh yeah. Yeah. When? I, just now. Oh yeah. I saw him bringing in like G.I. Joe stuff. Dude, did you see this? Yeah, I did. I got my eye on that too. A complete fat. It's awesome. Did you, when are you gonna get the arcade? trying to do a date and a time my brother's gonna he's gonna take me out to get it nice let's just say chad is is in the process of acquiring a mighty grail item for him i mean for some people I mean, yeah just... yeah but but it's one of your grails oh, so dude, that, that's a grail i never thought i'd get well, like i said they don't come up too often
does look like they got some, some stuff in. Like they, there's a Black Series wedge. And I haven't seen Ed's. You have him? Uh-uh. Well, you're, you're, you're thinking about getting out of the... I'm trying to stay away from that. The Black Series. I mean, it's... You know, it's kind of hard with Mandalorian right now. Speaking of which, did you see the uh, the new pictures for, for uh, um, IG-11, the vintage collection? No, I haven't. It hit yesterday. Really? There was a, there's a new Lando and IG-11. In fact, I think... I think Dom's in the pictures. He's a crackhead trying to steal. <laughs> Tell you what, you gotta send him a friend request. Dom? Oh my god, is he fucking nuts? Yeah, let him. Yeah. Well, I'll dude, do he that. was. Well, Dave, Dave dude, is great. He was prepared. Ooh. Where did that come from? You see that? The power of the Jedi tie interceptor. The tie interceptor. That's pretty neat. What is it, 60 bucks? That's not bad. No. Here. Oh, that's, that's vintage collection. I'll show yeah. you guys what we're looking at. <laughs> Sorry. Nice. And then he had pictures. Oh, yeah. <laughs> that looks great. I wasn't too impressed with the Lando, though. I mean, it's a shame because, like, he's one of my favorites. Yeah. But that slide dude, double. Look at how they. I mean, his head looks great, but look how the midsection is. I'm I'm not a big fan of those. Like how they how how they how well, they give the torso they that, articulation. Though. I'm not a big fan of that because it just I think it just jacks up the front of the figure. Yeah, I'll retro. Beat up, but yeah, that's actually beat up instead of yeah. weathered. <laughs> Clone Troopers. Ten bucks. Yeah. What's that? Wildcats. Playmates. I don't know those. That's an old 90s comic. Great. Yeah, head out. Had a cartoon. Really? Yeah. What year? Uh, maybe ninety-five. Mm -hmm. Yeah, co copyright's ninety-four. Okay. Yeah. I know the comic come out before that. Um, and that was. You have these? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I, I don't have. I don't have all of them carded. I mean, I hate to tell you, some of these for ten bucks, I might have to <laughs> partake. Did you um? I'll get you one. Oh, dude, I'm. My wife just hit me up. She said, We got a tax return. <laughs> I don't want to go nuts. Yeah. Well, as much as you run around getting me stuff, I'll, oh, I'll get you a $10 figure. <laughs> awesome stuff. Dude. I know. It's just. That's what I said at the beginning, too. I'm like, I know. I know I've you're done here all the time. I've but done two they videos. Constantly get stuff in. I know. I've done oh, two videos God. already, but I mean, it's just such a great store. Hey, did you know that NECA was doing um, Defenders of the Earth? Yes. Have you seen them yet? Yeah, I, I saw two of them yesterday. I didn't know if you were wanting you know them what? or not. I, I, dude, I honestly, I don't have any NECA, and. You know, I know there's the a little bit of controversy going on right now about how their you know, quality control is, and it's. I think it's really a shame. It is. I mean, you know, when you're spending, you know, fifty dollars for a two pack of Ninja Turtles, you should at least be able to take them out of the box and move them around. Well, they shouldn't break in the package either. Yeah, well, <laughs> there it is. There it is. But they did look pretty cool. And that's the thing, you know, their their molds and paint jobs yeah. are usually good. Paint jobs are usually good, but it's, it's, if you if you can't honestly, dude, if you I can't pose if you can't pose the figure without it breaking, yeah, <laughs> I'm, not, I'm not a big fan of that. It's, it's kind 
Well, they got some aliens. Water world. Get it. Nice blade. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I wish they had some of these loose. They did for a little while, but... Someone probably snagged them, because I think they were pretty cheap. They were. Unless they were over here. It's amazing, bro. Duke What's up, Hunter? <laughs> Hunter's happy that he's so busy this morning. <laughs> oh, crap. Probably from downstairs, dude. Oh, yeah. Is that, is that from the basement? Yeah. Sounds like this. <laughs> dude, what about them savage dragon figures? Somebody buy them? No, I just got them out a lot yesterday. I can't believe you sold your Hasbro's, dude. I'll get mine. <laughs> dude. What? What? Dude, like, dude, they get Hasbro's in all the time. And it's true. I, I, dude, of, of, of all things that I had down there, like, that was one thing that I could, like, you know, you know, I could get back. Yeah, that's true. I mean, this this is probably your one opportunity to get that item. Dude, I in that's like I was talking to Dom, and there's two versions of this arcade, and this is the more rare. Okay. Like they had like just the regular, you know, like sides and stuff like that, like yeah. just you know, like that. Right. Right. Well, and then. Like this one has like the screen that's like up and detached, yeah. and then it has all, and then it has all Dude, the artwork on the I remember playing plan. that as a kid. Oh. That and the Simpsons I played all the time. I mean, I didn't, I don't have like a boardwalk experience like, like you have, but. got over here. Looks like somebody bought a lot of the Captain Power boxes. You guys need help on anything? No, I'm good. Alright. If you need anything, just hit us. Mark, can you bring them out? Yeah. Oh, that's a good I'm asking about them. Sheer Got a dragster in the box. Are they gonna ace down here complete? Yeah. How much? Eighty. Dude, that's like that's actually not horrible. I mean, 
usually like they don't have the poster, they don't have the book. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do they? They skyrocket. Oh my gosh! They I know. Sky Dude, you got such a killer deal off of me. It's funny. I, I feel I feel kind of guilty about that actually, but they're, you know they're not going anywhere. So. You want some of them wild cats? What's that? You want to get some of them wild cats? I woke up this morning and I'm like, no! Hmm? I'm thinking. Excuse me. I'm sorry. I'll get some one. Guts. We need guts. Aerators. That's like a... That's not the... Uh, prices aren't too bad on them either. Dude, that's... Yeah, dude, they're going nuts over them Hasbro's. Dad sold his Hasbro's and they're over there. Everybody's snatching them up. Of course, Chad didn't have a red card Undertaker for me, but that's okay. Yeah, that was Oh, so that was yours too? Map Room Adventure set? That's probably pretty hard to come by. Oh, yeah. Dude, they went nuts over there. There's, no. there's, like, there's like four people here. They just like... <laughs> I wish they could get more GoBots in, you know? You know what, man? It's just not something you see every day. No, day. you see G1s. Dude, that's like a. Dude, that's gonna be the next thing to skyrocket. I'm you. I mean, it's that it's that niche collector that sure. wants GoBots. Well, I mean, like we were just talking about about you know like the Centurions, like mm -hmm. like. Dude, two years ago, you know, you couldn't sell a complete Centurion for you know forty fifty bucks, and now they're. About a hundred. Oh, if not more. I saw those rockets with some dude online. Yeah. He was, I posted on my story and then he was messaging me like, will you go there and get them for me? I'm like, dude. <laughs> so your entire like, dude, collection went in here, huh? Mm -hmm. like, no one has that shit in the whole world. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah that's Even cool. your Sergeant Slaughter. Yeah. I'll tell you what, I'm glad I, I grabbed those blue bloods. I bet. You know what, they didn't have those the last time. You got yeah. Oh yeah, the, the KO thumb wrestlers. Yeah. At least I knew they were gonna sell the rockers, dude, at Toy High. I'm oh, sure they dude. sold them. Dude, with the glasses? Oh. So awesome. <laughs> Purple Razor's going for a ton now. Same with Black Pants Michaels. And, I mean, those were the second releases. Yeah, just, mm -hmm. He was like, he was, like giving something away for free, so I'm like, well, hell. Like, you just had them loose, right? You didn't, you didn't have the card in ones. Hmm. Yeah. Well, I had that, I had that warrior in that uh, Texas Tornado. Oh, okay. He's supposed to come here, dude. He freaks out. Yeah. Yeah, that can. Yeah, I watched it. I, was I need to get a king ring door sometime. But I was like, I got about 10 minutes in. Like, That's a nice one. What's up, man? Oh, come on. He's on <laughs> Seriously? Why are you just post a picture and at 11 a.m. there's like 50 people in the door? Just crazy because they're not even that. Okay guys, I am back from yet another trip at D&E Collectibles. 
you've seen the video, you know how much awesome vintage toy goodness they have in that store. And if there's one thing that can be said about d &E, is that their prices are very fair and they have consistent inventory. They don't like to see things sitting around and collecting dust. Uh, they want to sell. So if you're ever in the Pittsburgh area, that is a no-brainer. You go to d and &E and buy some toys. So the first thing I picked up there was this 100% complete movie star Leo from the Secret of the Ooze movie star line. And you may be wondering why I picked him up. Well, it's because the movie star Leo I have is not in very good condition, nor is he complete. In fact, I think I'm using the original Leonardo weapons in his figure. So um, these are the authentic movie star weapons. There's his club accessory and the sewer lid shield. And then uh, his throwing stars and ooze container. So I was happy to find him. Um, these are great figures. You can see that they have the rubbery like limbs that is very unique to uh, the movie star line. Then I got this 100% complete with box turtle cycle vehicle. I just had to pick this up. You guys heard me talking about it in the video itself and I have the vehicle but I did not have the box or the inserts and so this is from 1989 one of the original Ninja Turtle vehicles that came out in the line. You can see that it has this great uh, Child's World price sticker on it which is awesome and the box is in pretty good shape for being 31 years old. Here is the turtle cycle itself in the sidecar there. Such a fun vehicle. And it has the shield and the slingshot accessory. Of course, the slingshot came with a, a rubber band that you would just pull back and launch whatever you wanted to launch in it. Um, but of course, that has disintegrated now over time. In my favorite find from the day, uh, this is a grail item for me, guys, is this 100% complete boxed Slave One from Empire Strikes Back. Of course, this is the infamous Boba Fett's spaceship that he hauled Han Solo away in in the carbonite block that is even pictured there on the box. And the box is in really, really nice shape. I was very impressed with how nice this box was. And not only the box, but the toy itself is in great shape. Here we have the Slave One Vintage Kenner. Kenner quality. I don't know, some people don't haven't even seen a Vintage Slave One, so I'm just gonna turn this around. Um, you know there's a handle on the back here for kids to play with it and adults. I was actually flying this around the, the uh, dining room table at dinner the other night, <laughs> show, showing my family um, and how excited I was to actually have it. So, so you can fly this bad boy around and um, these guns move up and down. And they have a, um, a uh, system in place where if you put it down, the wings go down with it as well. So if you wanna lay it down and pull the ramp out, you can pull the ramp out. But then as soon as you, see? Kinda of like that B-wing cockpit, how it always stays level. They do that with the wings here on uh, the Slave One. So, um, just so awesome. Great ship, great vintage piece to own. Um, and I know the prices are going up. I kind of wish I would have bought it a couple years ago before he appeared in The Mandalorian because <laughs> they were going a lot cheaper back then. Um, but, uh, you know, they're not going to get any cheaper. So I, I splurged on this. Here is the carbonite block with Han Solo in it. Look, it even has the stickers on the side. You know those things are probably gone most of the time. And then it also has the Kenner instruction sheet 
for the Slave One, and the Empire Strikes Back Kenner Guide that was packaged with uh, the vehicles and play sets. So that was a great addition to that as well and adds to the completeness of the overall vintage vehicle. That's it guys, that's what I got at DNE this time. I am sure there will be many more. Go ahead and hit that like button if you enjoyed this video and subscribe to my channel at Rees Retro Toys for all of your toy hunting needs. Thanks for watching and keep on hunting.